I'm very excited about our next guest. He is responsible for several of the most iconic series in television history, from The Office to Parks and Recreation, and of course, King of the Hill. This year, he's back with three shows, including the sci-fi comedy Upload. Please welcome Greg Daniels to the South by Southwest studio. Greg, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Well, we just had Cheryl Crow, and Cheryl said that her favorite show ever was the office how does that make you feel That's, the mighty the mighty cheryl crow i when you know i can't believe she even uh watched anything that i did very exciting and she, and she just met you right now and she was more excited to meet you than i think no i was very excited <laughs> to meet her <laughs> but you're here Love you're, that you're, music. you're here for season two of the upload yes. uh and congratulations you got a season two it's it's a, it's a brutal business you got season two the first season was beloved <clears throat> What can we, can you tease out what we can expect from this season? Um, well, uh, so Upload's about a future, the year uh, 2034, coming fast. And um, in this future, we, we show a lot of the tech which uh, is still in the lab now has gone everywhere. So people print their food, they don't grow food anymore, they use 3D printers and um, they, they talk on the phone by just making that hand gesture and they have self-driving cars everything's pervasive drones are everywhere and the cool tech in this future is that um, you can uh, uh, record your entire consciousness it destroys your head so you don't do it unless you're about to die and then all that information can uh, be uploaded into a digital world that's um there's six of them they're they're modeled after luxury hotels and they're run by the six biggest tech companies mm. and so uh it's a way for uh the tech industry to create a heaven that people can live in in, the re in real world terms and then they get charged uh constantly for in-app purchases uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so. which, which the character discovers in the first, he's like, oh, okay, there, it comes with some quirks, I have to. Yeah, have to. and so the, the center of the show is a, is a love story. It's, uh, it's about this guy, Nathan, who's played by Robbie Amell. And, um, you know, he's this sort of shallow L.A. Uh, uh, coder, and then he gets killed in a self-driving car accident. Of course. Of course, because they're not perfect. <laughs> and um, although later we find out it's a murder. Uh, but at the time, he gets killed, uh, uh, he is uploaded by his girlfriend, um, who's played by Allegra Edwards, whose name is Ingrid, and she's uh, like uh, very hot, uh, and uh, but you know a little a little narcissistic, mm. um, and so he ends up in this world of called Lakeview, uh, which is this um, digital hotel that he lives in uh, with other dead people. Um, and he can do all sorts of different things, but they charge him for everything, and Ingrid has to pay because they used her, <laughs> you know, Horizon ID. The company that actually hosts this is, is Horizon in our show, yeah. so we've been copied by Facebook. Uh, of course. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Facebook went meta, literally. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, um, he meets uh, his customer service representative, uh, <laughs> who lives in Queens and is going through a lot. Uh, and her name is Nora, and that's played by Andy Allo, and he falls in love with her. So that's what season one is about. Yeah. And um, in season two, uh, he had to break up with Ingrid, and without her money, he was downgraded to the pay-as-your-go, uh, you get two gigs of data a month plan. So it's basically, it's like AOL, like dial-up back in the it's day. Like, like, it's like the phone plan where, you know, like flip pre phone. prepaid yeah, phone, yeah. yeah. Painful. Yeah, very painful Painful for afterlife. Him. So he's down in this very unpleasant uh, two gig world and he uses up his whole two gigs on day one, uh, saving Nora from uh, this guy who was sent to kill her uh, as part of the mystery story. And um, and so he's frozen down in two gig and that's where we come in on season two. And Nora didn't, didn't get a response from him. So she's scared and she's gone off the grid up in the woods with the, the uh, protest movement. <laughs> called the Luds that live up in the woods. And, Wait, and, and those are all like the, the, the ones who, the proletariat who only have two Gs? The, well, the, these are the ones that don't want to have uh, anything to do with the digital uh, future. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they're, Purists. Uh, mm -hmm. they are, they're growing their own vegetables and uh, weaving their own clothes and stuff. Yeah. 
And, and so when you when you have a can you can you let us know? I, I, people will watch it, but where where can we expect this one? What what new terrain are you going to cover? In this one, well, there's you covered a lot of terrain in the first one. I mean, it's like satire, comedy, you yeah. know, commercialism, virtual world. But like, is, is with what's happening in the world? I'm sure it informs your art. Where do you guys, what do you guys want to poke at for this season? Well, you know, it's it is um, the themes of it are really about the income inequality, the right. the unfairness of how the tech is distributed, the fact that um, they're really in it for money. So uh, uh, when you get uploaded, it's really all about how much you can pay for it. And um, so that's that's a big theme. And But we we take it for fun, right? It's supposed to be an entertaining show only, really. And um, so we're, but, but there's a lot of... But through entertainment and through comedy, through satire, oftentimes that askew angle allows you to comment upon these very... Yeah, I think equities. there's a lot of commentary yeah. in it. But I, I'm, you know, it, it's really... Uh, meant to be entertaining, right? I, I feel like I'm uh, letting people preview a funny possible outcome of all the tech that we're using. And, uh, you know, and it's sort of taking off about how much time people spend on the internet. And the, the fact that people are starting to go into VR when our show is like 90% in the virtual yeah. world and everyone who's in the real world is wearing the glasses <laughs> to participate is just kind of making it more timely. But uh, so I'm assuming you're not a fan of Oculus, or yeah. um, <laughs> well, are you, you know, are you, the, are you, are you going to get it? Because you do a show about this, and does it make you more cognizant of the changing reality that now virtual reality is? Yeah, the next step. No, for sure. I mean, you know, we we chose to shoot the. Um, uh, the scenes that are in the virtual reality, like photo real, with the assumption that 15 years from now, uh, when you go into VR, it's not going to be like so animated looking. It'll yeah. look blocks. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, so it is. Uh, it is kind of funny to, to to use the Oculus and see. Oh, they don't have any legs. <laughs> just, well, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you don't need legs. Legs were too that. hard to program. Or Digital whatever. afterlife. You don't need legs. Yeah. You don't need legs where we're going. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, there's so many great uses for VR and. I think that whenever a new technology is rolled out, it's mm. rolled out with so much optimism. And then later you find out like, oh yeah, oh that destroyed democracy, oh <laughs> shit. You oh know? yeah, ooh, Facebook, ooh, <laughs> yeah. Twitter. Oh. oh, I wanted to catch up with my old girlfriends, not not destroy democracy not, or, or promote not, Russian propaganda. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're actually here at South by Southwest talking to a futurist about the impact of technology, right? Yeah. And your show, Upload specifically, and actually you have two shows, you have Space Force, on Netflix. I know that's also somewhat futuristic in the sense that all the space exploration is a, is a big theme, I think. It, in the and future. so, I mean, and you you have a different angle on it, right? So you're talking about the very real, I mean, negative consequences of a technology unchecked, right? Oftentimes we embrace it. We're like, this is awesome. Well, and then uh, yeah. Like, I mean, uh, people say I had to say this to the to the um, crew for upload is this is not a dystopia sci-fi show and it's not a utopia it's something in the middle and I think for a comedy writer which is what I essentially am yeah um, to to see how people um, don't think about the unintended consequences of the new tech you know and how things glitch and malfunction and go wrong that's where the humor is right, so right. you know yeah. so um, it's comedy gold yeah, I mean, pain and suffering for democracy and, and human relations, well, but also as a comedy as person, a comedy, you gotta, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's gold. Things that turn out right are not always that funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're it, looking for the Edsel. You know, you you start off with uh, you know Office, Parks and Rec, you know King of the Hill, almost like you know these traditional. Well, actually, they were breaking at this time, like breaking new ground, but not really relying on technology. So now you've gone all in with like Space Force and Upload, and how has Technology or like this changing technology changed how you employ comedy within, which is essentially a show, right? Well, for entertainment. Yeah, I mean, I think that um, from a TV standpoint, to me, Upload was my attempt to make a really intense and involving show. And it was the first streaming show that I did. Right. And Amazon said, consider it a five hour movie, season one. So I thought that was like a really fun. Um, Goal. And uh, and it has a lot of different genres, as you pointed out. And um, you know, I I just feel like as a viewer, that's what I wanted. I wanted to be constantly surprised. I wanted to not know if I was going to laugh or be scared or 
have my mind blown from one moment to the next. And um, you know, there's so many shows out there that you try and do something that people can have a, a connection to. Yeah, because at the end of the day, if you don't have an emotional connection, it doesn't matter how much. Yeah. How much green screen, how much CGI you throw at them, yeah. it's, not, it's going to fail. At the end of the day, you need that human connection. Yeah, that's why it's a love story at yeah. the, the base. And, and the, the idea that um, you know, one of the lovers is in, in uh, New York City and the other one is only in a virtual world <laughs> yeah. um, is a pretty big obstacle to overcome. And a good love story really needs a big obstacle. Always. So, yeah. Uh, I am terrified of the uploading because I saw the Black Mirror episode and I remember mm -hmm. Vanilla Sky. Similarly, when like things go terrible once, once they upload their consciousness, assuming eh, 20 years from now, 15 years from now, you can upload your consciousness, would you choose to do it? Yeah, I would. Uh, uh, you I would, despite, say, despite doing I, your show. I would. You got the credits. You got the credits. Yeah, I would. Um, I'm specifically hoping that having made this show, I will get some free upload out of Amazon, <laughs> which is one of the companies that I expect will be offering yes. the upload service. Um, so, you know, that's well, what I'm hoping. Well, well speak about Amazon, Bezos is also going to space. You got Space Force. Yeah. Uh, if Bezos gives you uh, a chance to go up into space like Shatner and others, would you take no, it? No, right I would now? not do that. There's, a, there's certain <laughs> You'll things. upload the consciousness, but I space upload, is too well, much, man. I would, you know, you don't use the upload until you're completely out of options. Uh, yeah, you're right? out of time. So right. to me, that's like a medical procedure to, oh. you know. You get into, like, when, when <laughs> Bezos went up in space. Yeah, he right? went up. He, yeah. I well, was, near space, space-ish. I was completely sweating when he did that. Yeah, I was all like, of us were. We were like, yeah, I was like, what's most likely is that it's just going to explode, you know? <laughs> and, uh, and and people will look back and go, yeah, of course it would have exploded. Why, why did he risk that? You know, like, I'm not going to jump out of a plane either. Just, and not because... Well, yes, because I'm scared. <laughs> but I would, <laughs> There's no shame to admit it. No, I would not. I, I would not do it either. I'm not going to pretend that I, I wouldn't be scared. But I think the the thing I'm most scared of is the parachute not opening, and then knowing for a minute that I didn't have to jump out of a plane. You know, I could have just gone down to Starbucks with a book or something, and yeah. instead I. I willingly jumped out of a plane, and then my parachute didn't. But open. that's the, the comedy. Stupidity. That's yeah. the comedy. That's the comedy, exactly. Yeah. But if you land flat, that's the tragedy. That's the, as long as the parachute eventually works. Well, I had a Peggy comedy. Hill jump out of a plane. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you remember that. That was a big, uh, a big thing in King of the Hill, and she managed to land in a muddy field and survive, although she broke every bone in her body. But. Comedy. Tragedy and comedy. Com exactly. Uh, uh, you know, there's, you have three shows, actually. So we got Space Force. Yeah. We got uh, Upload. And then tell us about the reality TV show you have on HBO Max. You're, you're hitting all of them, man. You're dating yeah. all the streamers. I'm trying everything. Yeah. yeah. See what sticks. Yeah. Um, so my daughter and I watched Love Island. We were joking around what would happen if somebody my age was in a house with other people. Um, how pathetic would that be? And so we came up with this idea. It's a reality show called My Mom, Your Dad. And basically people that are my daughter's age, like in their 20s, um, nominate their parents who are single uh, to all be in this house. And then what they don't realize, kids or parents, is that as soon as the show starts, we take all the kids and we put them in another house down so, the street. So, so sadistic. And they oh. watch everything on monitors. Oh, my and God. And they can kind of meddle with the dates to try and protect mom or like dad. Like literally, I saw the trailer, like literally they're meddling, like yeah. the sprinkler goes on the dad. Yeah, so if like mom is 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 uh, really hitting it off with a, with a guy that they don't like, they'll make the sprinklers ruin the date or something like that. And the, the parents have no idea what's happening. And for the viewer, ladies and gentlemen, that is comedy. Yeah, uh, that's But comedy. It's, it's, you know, thanks for joining us. It's an amazing <laughs> career you've had. Uh, we're looking forward to the, season two is already out for Space Force. Yeah. Uh, uh, the show on HBO Max is already premiering or is about to? That's on two. It's on yep. two. Yep, you gotta and, actually type in my mom, your dad to find it. It's yeah, not, and then upload season two, congrats on this. And the that last drops question. today. The, yeah. Congratulations, that drops today. Yeah. Last question before I let you go. Out of The Office, Parks and Rec, and King of the Hill. What's your favorite show, if you can answer? And who's your favorite character? Oh, God. Well, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to pick a favorite of my children. I will say it's a little bit frightening how much, uh, how easy it is for me to write Dwight Schrute. I'll say that. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
<laughs> and uh, we'll leave it at that. Okay. Congrats, uh, <laughs> guys. Watch uh, upload it premieres today on Amazon. Greg, thanks for stopping by the studio. I really enjoyed the conversation. Thanks, Congratulations. And for a complete list of our interview schedule, check out sxsw.com forward slash studio. You can watch all of our studio interviews on the South by Southwest TV app, available on Apple TV, Roku, Android TV, and Amazon Fire. These interviews are also available on our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash sxsw. I'm Ajanta Lee, and we will be back later today with a lot more from South by Southwest Studio. Thank you.